Hey loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're making a ski mask and to be honest, this is the first ski mask I've ever made. I wanted a lot of details, a lot of details. See what you wanted. Hope, hopefully you can see it. So this is the ski mask. I wanted it to be divided in black and white or white and black, anyone. <laughs> then with these different effects on it and writings on it and it will honestly be a challenge but I love to challenge myself and even if you are a beginner in crochet challenge yourself to bigger projects so that you would see smaller child and um, projects as just a little push to cross so be consist consistent practice with bigger projects just challenge yourself believe in yourself that you can do it I haven't made this scheme as well. I know I'll be able to get it. I'll be using Hebra's crochet. I hope I get the name right. I think it's Hebra's. I will put the link in the description box below for you guys to go watch a tutorial if you're interested in making a ski mask. And if I'm successful in making this ski mask, then I think I'll do a detailed tutorial for you to watch also if you want that you can also comment in the comment box if you want me to make a detailed tutorial so i don't think i'll be talking throughout this video it should be a crochet along figuring things out how to make it and yeah things like that but i just want to show you the process of how to make the schema the process i will take the measurements the frustrations yeah i know i'm frustrated but because there are a lot of measurements in it so let's go and make the schemas guys so for this project i'll be using white yarn and black yarn i think this is acrylic yarn yes this acrylic yarn i'll be using them and i think i'll use 3.5 along the way if i decide to change probably if i don't like the stitches if it's too big or it's too small i'll let you know but for now i'll start with the 3.5 and then I was using the scissors so I'm in love with it, so it's okay, it's perfect. So please continue the 3.5. So let's continue. I'm having faith. I know, I know, I'm in this fight. I did feel like, what if it doesn't come out right? What if, what if, if I keep taking of the what if, I wouldn't crochet and I would just keep looking at the project there. But the happiness at the end. That I was able to make this, even if it did not come out perfectly the way I wanted it or the way I imagined it, I will know that I tried my best. And I hope this will also give you the confidence to do that project that you threw at the side or that you are so afraid to pick up and do. So, watch the end of this video to see if I was able to complete. <laughs> The scheme has the notes. So finally, I've gotten. Yeah, you can see that I'm smiling so much. You have to know why, because the challenge I gave myself came out. It was so good. It was like, <laughs> I'm so proud of myself at this point because the tutorial I'm using was not spoken in English and she had kind of like subtitles in English. And it was hard getting to know the mathematics and what to do and what not to do. <laughs> I kept 
feeling at some point but i'm happy i'm i'm able to get to this point yeah as you can tell i started the i part of the skin mask and <laughs> i can't stop smiling but that's what you get when you challenge yourself and yeah so this is the eye part like you can see it's almost at the middle so right now it's at the center of my head so i want to change i want to change the yarn to the black one so that it will have half part white half part black so i'm going to be white here at this point and i'm going to the black yarn and i'm so proud because i did this just in a day it's not up to a full day yet like as i did not count the time but i think i started around one one ish and this is like four and this is where i've gotten to this is four but then i took a break as you can see in the video there's some part i did not even video but i'm able to get to this point for the first time i'm making a skin mask like guys just challenge yourself that's just it like make make that thing make that thing today and pick, pick it up if it's that cardigan that is giving you trouble pick it up i've always been afraid to make cardigans and probably after this i'll make a cardigan <laughs> hello everyone um yeah it's been a while like you can see my background has changed hair everything has changed i actually left the project for some time because i was writing my exam so there was no time to complete the project but now i'm done i'm back home <laughs> so i'm going to continue the project before i left it this is where i got to i was done with this schema Join it with you guys. sewing the seam of the side I made the top of this bar cover you can see that right so we made this point this point at the top going to, I got my stitch marker and I'm going to thread And then I'm done. So right now what I'll do is to remove all the excess yarn before I go on to the details. I'm going to sew in all this excess yarn. I'll still use my needle again, but let's see the front skin like i'm so happy with my wig like can you see it's just like a seamless schema can you see this i don't know if you can see like, i'll come closer to the camera can you see it see 
and I'm so happy with the result. Yeah, some people might be like, it won't size me, but don't forget, it's stretchy. So if I do more than this size for the person, it's literally my face. See? Literally. And it's stretchy, like it can size anybody. Can you see? But if you are doing for someone that is probably a little bit bigger, you can increase it. But it's very stretchy. And I use acrylic yarn. I do not use a thick yarn. I only double the strand so that it be a little bit thick. The right amount of thickness, not too thick and not too thin. So right now I'm going to, like I said, put all this away before I come back to the details. Or should I do the details first? I think I'm going to do the details first before I put all that away because there will still be more to come so let's head right to the details i'll first start with the crying effects i don't know if you still remember how it should be because i did not bring the book but i still remember what should be there i really want to get that tool they use in removing flyaways and death from wolves i will check if i can get it because i really need it I've successfully joined the white yarn so I'm going to start with the black side to get that that effect really <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing but as we go I know I'll figure it out Okay, for a minute there, it's a it was a little bit hard, but I'm done with the first one. Now I need to do a shorter um, tear, yeah, so that it will have like two tears, one side, two tears, one side, yeah. It's so beautiful! <laughs> okay, let's continue. Finally done with both sides and um, all I can say is wow my arms are pinning because to slip stitch on crochet it's very hard but I'm happy with the results the outcome is so like so cool Do you see this so nice it remains the I should write his name and he has hashtag here. Yeah. The hashtag is not going to be a problem, but the name let's see if I'll be able to do it. But let's continue the challenge, isn't that right? So, well, for the hashtag, I've decided not to slip stitch. Yeah, I think it's better that way. Just gonna. So it's on. Let's see if that's the best to do. So hashtag sign. I think I need something to draw with.
Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm killing it. If nobody tell me, I tell myself. I'm literally killing, killing the game right now. So see it, yeah. I'm done with the percentage sign, the hashtag sign. So now, his name. I had to get a pencil. I did not have a pencil, so I used my <laughs> eyeliner. Not the really eyeliner, my eye pencil, to write his name first, as so that I can get the stitches. I can't just use hand. I have to write it first. For this, I'm going to be using slip stitch. And please pray for me because I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but hopefully I will figure it out. I'm done. Should I show you the end result? Ta da! This is my first time making a ski max. This is my first time doing designs and even writing on a crochet piece. Like, and I'm so proud of myself. Like, see how cute does it look? I can't wait for him to see it. Now, to the stressful. To putting all this away. <laughs> Please tell someone, tell me why this is part of crochet. We, we should have something that would help us. <laughs> this is not so fun. But we just have to. I was able to fix all of them. Yeah. So it took me time and it was stressful. But you see, no more yams outside. Now let's see the final results. I'm so happy. Wow, like I did this, like I made this. This came out of my head. But seriously though can you see this like can you see this can you see the artwork I'm so happy and thank you for coming on this journey with me of making this key marks and I will put the link in the description box for the main balaclava like the base of the tutorial I used I use Hebrew scratches I'm so happy to turn like this. I if I surprised myself. That's why I said challenge yourself. You never know what you can do. That's just the thing. If you want me to do a detailed video of how to write the name, the balaclava, the details, all this, just put it in the comment box that you want this. And please, and please, and please, and please like this video subscribe to my channel so that we can learn together we can make so many more beautiful things together and we can become friends please like the video 
comment and also subscribe thank you very much for following me on this journey till we see you again loves bye